Mark my words. Remember I said this. Swab Eyewear is about to be the biggest eyewear brand on the planet. On the planet, right? Not overnight, but it's gonna happen. And the reason why is because I'm saying it right now, right? Your words have more power than you think. So, Swab Eyewear, we going up. You know what I'm saying? All we gotta do is stay the course, like our friends say, stay the course, never give up, and just keep that consistency. And we gonna be where we wanna be. It's a, it's a percentage game, once again. You got a small percentage of people that's gonna do certain things. So, Last night, um, well, I really woke up to it. So I woke up to a uh, woke up to a, a feature. We got featured on Travel Noir, and Travel Noir is pretty big. I remember um, I used to follow him heavy back in the day, maybe like four years ago or something. But um, I know they got acquired by Blavity, and yeah, like getting featured is cool. But like my my whole focus is always like. Publicity and PR is cool, but it's not like a determining factor um, because here's here's a question, right? I want to pose to, to you and to people, whoever watching this. Would you rather have a well-known, visible brand that's not making revenue and not making no real money um, and not really growing, but it looks good to people? Or would you rather not have any like a lot of features and, and publicity and PR, but your business, your back end is very strong and you have a growing customer base, right? So, you know, shout out to, to Travel Noir, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. But at the end of the day, shoot, we just stay in focus. You know what I'm saying? I can't control a random feature about to happen. So I'm not going to depend on that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to position my brand so that when those things happen, because they're inevitable, because I know that what we're building, right? Um, but once those things happen, we have everything in place to be able to maximize the opportunity that is being presented. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we are about to get ready to go um, pick up these frames, pick up a couple orders, um, the prescription orders, and I uh, ship them out as well. So, uh, so yeah, yo, always remember, everything in life starts with a vision. So right now, we headed to go pick up these, uh, these prescription orders, right? I say they take six to eight days to get them but usually we get them in about four to five so we about to um pick those up get ready process those real quick ship those out asap because once again i'm always trying to get these orders out as soon as possible people want to make millions of dollars but let me ask you this if you're making two million dollars a year what do you think your monthly payroll is going to be? Depending on your business. You got you to gotta get used to, or you got to wrap your mind around being able to, to, to pay, you know, 20, 30 bands a month for others. Because that's payroll, right? If you're going to have staff, you're going to have inventory, you're going to have marketing, et cetera, et cetera. You know, what is your monthly expenses going to be? What's your payroll going to be, right? How much is it going to cost you consistently to, to upkeep inventory and keep that flowing? These are all things that you got to think about if you really, really, really want to take your company up. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, yo, just, you know, if you want to be a real boss, then don't run away when it's time to pay them invoices and don't have people waiting three weeks and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I get we busy, but uh, pay them invoices, yo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, always continue to just like work on yourself as a boss. You know what I mean? Like, like work on yourself. Like don't run away from what boss bosses do yo yo so we just uh packing up these prescription orders right here so we get them right they come in and then these right here are the influentials and then we go like this And then, as you can see, as you can see, so when we get the um, prescriptions, we have to make sure that the that the um, 
the vision is like right here because this is where the pupils sit, right? That's what your prescription is. So we get them and they have those red dots, but we got to wipe them off so we could get the lenses clean so that when the customers get them, it looks perfect, right? So we wiping those off. Get it all situated. Right there. And boom. There we go. So now we know that these are the prescription ones. They look good. Stay the course on the inside vision right there on the end tip and we just about to package these ones up and we about to ship them out you know what i'm saying who ordered these ones uh taryn shout out to you taryn uh frames are on the way always remember everything you do in life starts with a vision peace so we uh it's about to be the first of the month we getting ready for the month um i got something new um i try to be pretty organized but I got this planner right here. It's an Evo planner. Uh, one of my clients put me on. And what it does is it breaks down the months and then it breaks down into the weeks and then it breaks down into day, right? Day to day. So I started using this and this is how I'm, uh, you know, getting organized for the month of May. Um, kind of just looking at everything, right? We got intensives going on next month we got traveling um we got promotions thinking about like what i want to do for the month of may with suave eyewear and things like that so really trying to just like get everything situated um i always do a recap of the of the previous month and then also um i'm making videos for clients as well right um at the end of every month or the beginning of every month I do a recap of the previous month of like my clients' performances, just like letting them know what I see, how we can grow the business, how we can make things better, how we can be more efficient and stuff like that. One thing I learned is business is all about efficiency. Efficiency is more important than how much money you make and stuff like that. So I'm really big on efficiency. It's not about, you know, how much money did you make, but I'm more looking at you know, did you make the money efficiently? Because you can make 50000 in a month, but if it wasn't made actually efficiently, then you could be shooting yourself in the foot. So, um, so yeah, I got, you know, the, the calendar right there, took that stuff, put it on the calendar here. So I'm just going to be carrying this every single day. Um, they have four different ar archetypes, and then whichever one resonates with you best, you just buy that journal. And then, uh, yeah, you just you just do that and you do what you need to do. But, yeah, we're just getting ready for uh, May. Really excited for the month. Whole bunch of new stuff going on. But, yeah, it's just about staying consistent and having that big vision of the month and of the year and of the quarter and stuff like that. Because if you don't have, like, an overarching vision, that's how I work best, right? I have an overarching goal or a vision. And then from there, I do what I need to do. Right. I break it down and I try to reverse engineer it. So um, and I'm just continuing to work on being more organized with everything that I'm doing. So that way I can, you know, get what I want to get. So, uh, yeah, about to hop on a meeting in a, about 20, 30 minutes. And we're going to talk about, you know, this month and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm excited. And um, yeah, just always remember everything you do in life starts with a vision. This is a percentage game, right? When you look inside your Clavio or your SMS, whatever, anything, in the beginning, the numbers are very close to zero. As time goes on, numbers increase, but it's a game of percentages. What I mean by that is everything. You got uh, open rates and emails. It's gonna show you a percentage. How many people from your email list open the email a percentage so when you understand percentages you can see your growth and track your growth because a product don't talk back a product is this right here i just bought a 
I just bought a notebook, uh, a journal, right? A planner for $40. I did not talk to the owner of the company. I don't know who owns it, but they got $40 at scale. What if they're selling 400 of these a day? $40 times 400 is $16,000 a day. You see what I'm saying? All because they set up an infrastructure and a system that is selling these. So that's what I mean when I say scalability. You're not bothering anybody. Get that out your head. Right? If somebody's on your email list, you have the liberty to email them every day if you wanted to. I'm not saying email them every day, but... Don't sit here and be like, oh, I don't want to, you know, bother people. That's Frontier don't care about bothering me. Priceline don't like none of these big companies care. They care about driving revenue. So you got to change your mindset to like, we need to be driving revenue. Your company is going to evolve over time. You're going to make other small pivots from a back end perspective, from a front end perspective. You're going to be making pivots all the time. Some things are going to work. Some things are not going to work. The things that don't work don't make you a failure. All right. It just means that it wasn't in alignment for the company at this time. Just detach from all of that and just keep going in one direction. 